Hello Capricorn, Summer Rising. Okay, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy. We have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. We'll see why you're getting this card and how it resonates with your reading for today. But let's focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to them. Let's do this, Capricorn. Ooh, oh yes. I love your overall energy. We got the Magician. We also have, you're like my spirit animal, man. And you know what? I always say this about you guys. Like, all you guys do is mind your business and make your money. Like, that's all Capricorns do, you know? That's all you guys do. Um, and that's exactly, you know, what I'm getting here, you know? When it comes down to you, Capricorn, you're very, very focused on yourself and your material world and your overall success. Um, you know, you're somebody who really does believe in yourself. You are somebody who also pushes yourself to be the best version of yourself. Uh, you're also very focused on creating and manifesting the life that you want for yourself into fruition, uh, which is really, really nice to see. Um, it just kind of looks like you're doing your thing, man. It just kind of looks like you're doing your thing. Now, don't get caught up in the gender. Even though you're coming across as an emperor, you can totally be a female. You're just harnessing a lot of masculine energy right now. So that's kind of telling me, man, that you're really on the go. You're out here making moves. You're very determined to create the life that you want for yourself. You're not sitting around making excuses. Like, you're really making things happen here for yourself. How does this person currently view... Hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm. we got the ten of pentacles now we have the strength card why did i say it that way and then we also have the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck well what do you know we got the five of cups wow when it comes down to how this person's uh currently viewing this relationship with you capricorn they're still kind of grieving over this ending here that transpired uh, between you and them. I feel like they're really trying to find the strength and the courage within themselves to just accept the fact that it's over between you and them and move on with their life. But I got to be honest, do you really think they're going to end up moving on with their life? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. They can't convince me. They can't convince me. I'm not falling for this. Because this is, I'll, I'll be honest, this is like an overall energy of, you know what? Yes, th this sucks. This ending really does suck. But I got to get up and move on with my life. They're not going to get up and move on with their life. Okay? I'm so sorry. You're showing up as the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is somebody who's attractive. Nine of Pentacles is somebody who has their priority straight. Nine of Pentacles is somebody who's independent. Somebody who has that mentality of, I don't need anybody but myself and God. If you believe in God, right? Um, Six of Wands is somebody who's very confident within themselves. Uh, somebody who's very ambitious. I mean, uh, come on, man. Okay, like what what's not to love about you, man? What is not to love about you? So I'm not fooled by this overall energy that's stepping forward here for this person as far as them getting up and moving on with their life is concerned because it's not going to play out that way. It is not playing out that way. You know, I just kind of feel like they're just trying to move into that state of acceptance. But when reality starts to kick in for this person, that's when this person's going to gravitate towards you. Call me psychic. How does this person currently feel? Uh-oh. Yep. It's just, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Um, I don't know why I'm getting pictures. So, I don't know. Maybe this person still has, like, pictures of the two of you together. But this is them kind of taking a trip down memory lane, sort of speak. Um, again, you guys may have taken like a lot of pictures with one another and they're kind of looking at those pictures, looking at those old text messages. They're just kind of reminiscing on what they once upon a time had basically with you. Now it wasn't all good, but it wasn't all bad either, you know? Um, so then there's that. I don't see them gravitating toward you just yet, but it's gonna happen. Oh, it's gonna happen because I see it happening. I see it happening. Like the desire. I'll say that. The desire to want to come in and work things out and fix things with you, it's definitely there. But keep in mind, they're trying to move into that place of acceptance that it's over between you and them. There is no going back. It's over, right? So they're trying to move on with their life. I just don't feel like they're going to they're gonna be successful at it. We'll say that. How does Capricorn feel? We have the Queen of Wands, 
we have the Four of Wands, and then we have the uh, Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We do have the Five of Swords. We also have the Moon. And then, well, 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 well. Well, well, well. Look at what we have here, huh? You know, that's it. I'm, I'm done. You know, because you were kind of giving me this impression, Capricorn, that, you know what, I'm good. I don't need this person. I'm moving on with my life, which I do feel like all of those things are true. I do feel like you were taking steps towards moving forward and moving on with your life. I also kind of feel like the moment this relationship came to an end, you started doing your thing and focusing on you. I agree. I do feel like that's exactly what you were doing. But what's interesting is that it kind of looks like you're starting to kind of miss them and the relationship that you once upon a time had with them. But I feel like you're telling yourself, screw them, it's over, I'm not going back, that's it, I'm done with them, screw them, I'm out, whatever, I'm going to continue to move on with my life, I'll get over this person, let's be honest, this morning, I, I feel like you miss them, and I feel like they miss you, but I feel like you're allowing, if I'm being honest this morning, I feel like you're allowing your ego uh, to really get the best of you to the point where... Even though you may miss them, your ego is not allowing you to even run after them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're in this overall energy of, you know what? No, screw them. They don't deserve me. Like it kind of has that feel to it, but you miss them. Sorry, I hate to, to kind of blow your cover here, dude, but you, you do miss them. What actions? We have the Ace of Pentacles, we got the Lovers, and then we also have the Empress, and then we have the uh, Wheel of Fortune. Mm. Okay. What actions? We have the Four of Cups, we have the King of Pentacles, and then we also have the uh, Six of Pentacles, then we have the Eight of, you guys are like two peas in a pot, man, two peas in a pot. Two peas in a pot. I'm telling you, man. I am telling you. You know what's crazy? Is that moving forward, this is how connected you guys are. It's kind of wicked, to be honest. Because even though you're kind of pulling the stunt, like, you know, as far as like, nah, that's it. I'm just going to go back to doing my thing and focusing on me. Screw person to the right of Milagros, right? You guys are starting to jump into this overall energy of really missing one another. Really missing one another. What you guys once upon a time shared with one another. I hate to blow your cover, Capricorn, but let's just call it a day, you know? Let's just call it a day and call it for what it is. You miss them. Now you're starting to get into this overall energy of thinking. I'll say that. Thinking. If you continue to keep things as is, as far as like not fighting for your relationship is concerned, the likelihood of you losing this person is very, very possible to somebody else. And I don't think that you like that idea. I don't think that you like the idea of this empress being with somebody else if it's not you. And what's wicked is that this person is basically kind of feeling the exact same way. If you guys just leave things as is, the likelihood of you losing this empress to somebody else is very possible. And you already kind of confirmed to me in the cards that you don't actually like that idea. And they don't actually like that idea either. So it just kind of looks like it's only a matter of time before somebody breaks their silence. Now, I don't know if it's going to be you. I don't know if it's going to be them. But I think that you miss them. And I think that this person misses you. But... As much as you guys may miss one another, I don't see you taking any sort of action in this person's direction, and I don't see them doing it either, but reality is going to sink in for the both of you, and it's going to cause the both of you to basically think, like, man, like, if I don't get up and do something, if I don't get up and fight for my relationship, they're going to end up moving on with their life and building a life with somebody who's not me. Because that's kind of how you're feeling, let's be honest. And that's exactly how this person's feeling on top of that. Do you guys really want it to kind of reach that point? Because you guys could totally change things. That's besides the point. It just it just requires like you to not allow your ego to really get the best of you. And the same applies for this person. Come on, man. Look at the card that wanted to come out, which is kind of crazy. We have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Can you can you can you call them? Can you just exit the video, go call them, 
and go get your baby back. Or the person to the right of me needs to call you. Like, come on, man. Like, it's pretty obvious you guys love each other. It's pretty obvious neither one of you want to be without one another. Stop allowing your ego and your pride to get the best of you. Because if you do that, you're going to lead this person to basically think, well, you don't care about them because you didn't try to make any sort of attempt to fight for this relationship. And of course, yes, we could turn around and say the same thing about this person. But do you guys really want to... Do you really want to see this person with somebody else? And vice versa. Does this person really want to see you with somebody else? I don't think so. And it'll only lead to that if nobody does anything. Because then you guys are going to be forced to just call it quits and move on with your life. And you guys are going to be under the impression, well, this person never, they never cared about me. They never tried to fight for me. So I'm going to move on. And then you're going to meet somebody new. That's not going to be them. And then they're going to meet somebody new. That's not going to be you. Do you guys really want to live with that reality? Quit playing, man, and just go text this person or call this person and get out of this video, right? Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Uh, also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, it is linked in the description box down below. Quit playing games. Go get your baby back and vice versa, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.